Hey guys, um, looking at my forks, uh, you know, I put the forks on, but um, they're really leaking uh, pretty good from here. We got a lot of oil leaking, so uh, it's almost pointless to, to go this far with a bike and not do something about the front forks right away. Since they're leaking so bad, it might as well be done. So um, basically, I took the shock back off. Um, what's going to happen here is that uh, we're going to drain the oil first, um, but these uh, can be a bugger to get off. So what I'd recommend is just tighten it up in here to hold it like a like a vice grip, and then uh, and then continue to uh, just use a proper wrench for that. I didn't have one, so I had to use a crescent wrench, but it should turn pretty easy. So that's what I've done there. I've loosened this one off, and I've loosened this one off. So coming. Excuse me. Coming over to this area, you're, for, you're going to check where your uh, where your where your settings are at. So uh, this is your softening and hardening, and so I'm just going to count the clicks. So one, two. So it looks like two, two clicks. So I'll mark that down. Two clicks on the top. Bottom is your rebound. Same thing. I'm going to check the clicks going in. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's eight. Okay, gonna do the same thing on the bike up here. One, two, Three. So I'm going to make it three clicks for, for both shocks. I'll try three. None of these uh, numbers are set in stone. It's just all preference, right? So I don't know where this bike was set up originally. So I'm starting from scratch. So it doesn't matter too much. Um, so that's, that's three clicks there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to loosen them right off. All the way out. This is your air screw, so I'm going to bleed that. There's no air, but if there is pressure, you'll hear that bleed. It'll just It'll do like a sizzle, like kind of a, like a leaky tire sound. Um, same with this guy, going to take it all the way out now. Okay, it's all the way out. Got my thing down here for oil, so uh, basically I'm gonna take this off now. There should be no pressure here. Should just come straight off. I'm always paranoid though, so. This oil is pretty dirty, so I'm gonna probably leave it overnight, let it drain.
So here we go. We've got the spring. Um, oil's down inside here. Okay, so. See that's oh that's terribly dirty. So now it's gonna be uh, keep it up. Uh, I'll have to put this camera up. So I'm gonna pry that up a little better somehow. You can see that oil's really dirty and messy, so I expected it to be pretty pretty bad. So since it probably hasn't been changed since uh, 1990, so probably looking at 25 years here of oil. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna pry that up somehow so it's a little bit standing up a little bit higher. And then uh, at that point, uh, let it all drain out. And uh, we'll start this thing tomorrow morning um, and finish it off. Uh, give you a price update on things. This pike takes 573 milliliters. So, um, these, this is, they come in one liter. I'm using this fork oil, it's just, whatever, it's just regular fork oil, so, I don't know, uh, oil to me is oil, so. Um, these are uh, 12 bucks a jug, and again, it's gonna take uh, just over, yeah, what was the number, Six, 673, 673 milliliters is what it's, uh, what it's gonna take, so. 673 milliliters, 12 bucks, 12 bucks, it's 24 bucks. Um, I just went with all bearings, all balls, racing bearings. So uh, you have the dust protector seal. Let's take this guy out. Quick look. So this is your, this is your dust protecting seal. Keeps the dust off the, uh, off the uh, shaft. I guess we'll call it. And this is your oil seal. No, this is uh, your oil seal. Wait a minute here. What do we got? Sorry. This is the oil seal <laughs> right here. And this is your dust seal. So that goes on, goes on the outside. I'll show this tomorrow though. So for now, uh, I'm going to get the other shock off. Other shock will come off and start draining the oil on it. And, uh, Tomorrow we'll be ready to rock. Okay, thanks for watching guys. And uh, yeah, this kit, I don't know if I talked about it, but uh, this kit was $30, so. All right. Okay, second shock is, as you can see, it's draining here. So uh, yeah, gonna let it drain and uh, we'll uh, take this up in the morning.